Using a good photo of the original icon and acetate sheet, I carry out several studies to make sure I copy faithfully. Where lines present some missing parts, I replace them with little dots. The lines of the cloak of the Mother of God and only these lines are traced with the ruler for convenience, with the pencil and possibly with the engraver. We will find them again in the final stages of the work without multiplying the executive effort. I use the sepia ink pure without adding water. However, I do often wash the brush and I immediately dry it up well to keep its elasticity. The ink undergoes an oxidation process after just a few minutes, therefore becomes dry. So we need to add new ink on the ceramic palette every once in a while. I apply the mix of medium hematite and zinc white with a Vio brush Rublov Serie 1410 number 4 or 5. I try to execute the coats at speed because these will help avoiding spots and patches. I repeat the procedure with the second coat using the same color for the orange areas while progressively taking out zinc white from the formula used to paint the dark areas. The transversal lines are really difficult to execute. Make sure that they are really well executed. Due to their length, they must be often divided into traits to facilitate the job. The ribbons that accompany the outer edges of the hematite cloak must be carried out particularly well, especially ensuring that the distance between the two parallel lines is always the same. I constantly make sure that the color formula has a warm component. In this regard, I always try to add biacca that I replace with 70% zinc and 30% titanium to the composition as the first color. In fact, biacca is the only color with a cold component in the chromatic formula. I then add the other colors and this allows me to better maintain a warm hue. Normally, after the glazing, the lights and the graphia must be resumed. Here, I indicate the resuming of the second light with the same chromatic formula used previously. Cinnabar, orpiment and a bit of biacca. The second highlight should be done with a small brush and a light touch so as not to impose too much on the previous successive layers, producing non-harmonized passages. These lines follow an inverse trend because they start from a plain area and go towards a fading away effect. So first, I push firmly on the brush to widen the brush stroke and then I gradually take off the pressure to leave a thin line at the end. I go over twice on this line because it is a dominant line among the others. Hence, it must be wider and more evident. At the end of the work. <laughs>